Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to News Now, and where you might have noticed we're in a different, different location today, it's just a different part of my room, but this is Amazon Echo Dot, and it's a smart speaker for people on a budget. Uh, I actually received mine from this guy named C. Lee, I don't know if you've heard of him, he doesn't have that many subscribers. I have more subscribers. And I just want to give a huge shout out to C. Lee, he makes tech videos like me, and we know each other personally, so... Go check out his channel, I'll leave a link in the description below to his channel if you're interested in subscribing to his channel as well. Um, this is the second generation in white, and to wake it, you just say, Alexa. So you can ask it about lots of different things, and I'm actually going to cut to different shot now so we can go through a lot of the different things, just some of the functionalities that are on this Echo Dot. Let's go. Alexa. How far away is the moon? The moon's distance is 239,000 miles, 384,000 kilometers. Alexa, order me pizza from Seamless. Welcome to reorder with Seamless. To enjoy this experience, you will need to link your Amazon and Seamless accounts together using your Alexa app. I sent instructions to your Alexa app to help you get started. And if you link your Seamless account or your Grubhub account or your, 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 I don't know, Instacart app or whatever you want with this Amazon Echo Dot, then it will actually uh, be able to order you food just like that by asking. You can also turn on or off lights if you have Philips Hue lights or other supported smart lights, which I will provide a list of those supported devices in the description below. So go check that out if you're wondering. You can listen to the news. Alexa, provide a news briefing. Here's your flash briefing from the New York Times. From the New York Times, I'm Michael Barbaro. This is The Daily. Today, the United States says its mission in Syria is to defeat ISIS Alexa, and stay out. Stop. You can ask about the weather anywhere in the world. Alexa, what's the weather like in Singapore? Currently, in Singapore it's 83 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect some sun and thunderstorms, with a high of 89 degrees and a low of 81 degrees. You can also play music, but only if you have a registered account with Spotify, Amazon Music, Pandora, or the other music streaming services. Unfortunately, I only have an account with Apple Music, so I cannot show you how to stream music on this Echo Dot. But just know you can do it if you have those other aforementioned uh, streaming services. You can call and message or your friends and family. Alexa, call dad. I couldn't find that device or contact name. Basically, you have to link your contacts with the Amazon Echo Dot, and then you'll be able to call and message your friends and family. And my favorite one, Alexa, open Sleep Lady. Lie down comfortably in bed. Alexa, stop. There are tons of other extremely cool skills that this Echo Dot can do, including Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, and a lot of other games and other apps. There's a whole app store on the Amazon Alexa app that offers a ton of apps, or what they call skills, that the Echo Dot can do. And it's really, really big and fast, so you, you can pretty much find everything there. So let me explain to you exactly how Amazon's Echo lineup looks. So. They offer three types of Echo. The Echo, the Echo Show, and the Echo Dot. So the Echo is the original smart speaker that debuted back in 2014, and it could do everything that it was advertised to do. The Echo Show is like the Echo, but with a built-in screen as well, so you can video call your friends as well. The Echo Dot is like the Echo 2, but without a screen and in a smaller form factor. So what makes the Echo Dot unique? Well, it's the cheapest and smallest Echo product that Amazon sells. It starts at only $50, and it's significantly less than a lot of other smart speakers that can do very similar functionality uh, as the Echo Dot. So when compared to something like the Google Home or the new Apple Home, it probably won't sound as loud or as it won't be as smart, but when you consider it's several hundred dollars less, it probably makes a lot of sense. The only features the Echo Dot skips out on that are offered on the other Echo products are the audible functionality, 
which is like audio books if you didn't know, and the 360 degree sound. So there's actually only, uh, I think, one little circular microphone in here, or a speaker in here, um, but it still sounds amazing. It's just not 360 degree sound. And you're probably wondering what the Echo Dot actually looks like. Um, so here's a little preview right now of what it looks like. Um, basically, you have four buttons right here. You have the volume up, volume down buttons. You also have the, if, you, if for some reason it doesn't respond to the Wake or the Alexa, you can simply activate it by pressing this button right here. This is the mute button. I muted it because I'm saying the word Alexa a lot and I don't want it to turn on every single time I say the word Alexa, so it's muted right now but you can unmute it just like that as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So all in all, the Echo Dot is a great buy. Um, it's great for anybody on a budget, and although it's not a necessity, it definitely does transform your home more into a smart home. At $50, it's probably one of the best buys I've ever encountered. So thanks again, shout out to C. Lee for uh, hooking me up with this Echo Dot and check the description below if you're interested in both subscribing to his channel and also buying this product. It's a really good buy. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you as always in the next video.